Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about equipping, and um, I'm looking at our uh, default scene from the inventory module. So I have Uma loaded, I have Game Creator, and the inventory module. Now you don't need the inventory module to do this, um, to actually equip, um, but it does make things a lot nicer, and we'll see why in a minute. So what I've done is I've gone to the Asset Store and I, I downloaded this um, UMA2 Free Military Hats. Um, uh, but there's, there's a number of different UMA things that you can equip to your characters. It doesn't really matter. This one actually does need some setting up um, to get it to work correctly. Um, so you might have to uh, twiddle with it a bit to get it to work. Um, but we're looking at this cap all the way to the right here. Um, there are other UMA assets that are all set up and ready to go, but this one it happens to be free. Um, so I've dropped this into um, to my scene, the cap. Um, I also created a, um, a sprite here that we're going to use in the inventory. And I have my prefab, which is just the um, what I've done here. I'm actually going to unpack this prefab because we're going to make changes and I don't want it to complain all the time that that I'm messing with the prefab. So um, so I have this hat here, this cap here, and we're going to just duplicate that a couple of times because I wanted to have a couple of examples of uh, different ways that you can equip. So I'll drag that there, and that doesn't that's parenting. Don't want that. Um, so I'll just drop that there for the moment, and then do another duplicate. So we have three different caps. And then I'm going to move them over a bit so we have a little bit of separation. And this one I'm going to move in this direction. So, um, just so that we're not hitting the same, um, we're hitting the same collider. So, um, if what I've done with this is I've extracted just, I'm just looking at the FBX file from the, the UMA asset. And I have added a spear collider to it. So I'll zoom in a bit. Go into scene and oops. Um bring my gizmos back. Okay, so I have a spear collider here which is acting as a trigger, so that's what we're going to click on to get it to uh to equip. We have a rigid body. Um I just added that because I like um when I drag my item out of inventory, I want it just to drop to the floor. I don't want it to fly around in the air, um, so I have gravity enabled. I've frozen the position in X and Z so that it's going to not go sailing if you run into it. Um, and I've frozen the rotation so it just doesn't spin around, it's just going to drop straight to the floor. Then um, the other thing I did was add a spear, a spear collider. Um, to actually act as our collider. Um, so th the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and add my trigger. So under um, Game Creator, Trigger, and then the type of trigger that we're going to add, Change Trigger, is going to be an input on mouse left click. And then I'll add an action to this. Um, so, and I'll rename this as equip cap. And we'll call that generic. And I'll call it equip cap player generic because we're going to use the first one to equip to the player. Okay, so that's my action. I'm going to add an action. Um, what happens when I click on the item? So I want to go to UMA and I want to go under Action, UMA, Add Recipe, Generic. So this is going to ask me uh, what, what is my avatar? So I'm going to go under my player and add my dynamic character avatar to the avatar slot. And then I'm going to go to the Uma Wardrobe Recipe, and this is the recipe that I've prepared 
and I've called it cap. Of course, you see that there's a long list of different recipes that you can use that come with the default Uma that you can play around with and equip those things as well. Um, but I'm going to equip cap. Okay, so that's all I need to do. Um, let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, there's the three caps that I've created, and you notice that I have my Uma character who's walking around in this scene. And I also have my merging character, which I've also changed to an Uma character. Uh, very easy to do. So now if I click on the cap that I uh, have modified, which is this one over here, um, you'll see that it um, adds it to his head. So that's basically it. I've equipped, uh, equipped an item, and you can see that it fits very well. Um, and good to go. Okay, but I did forget one thing. And that is that after I equip this item, I want to destroy it. So I'm just going to add an action and call this one general. And this is to destroy. I'm, I'm just going to do a search. So not finding it. Okay, destroy. So and it says which game object. We're going to drag the hat into that one. So now it'll disappear when I equip it. Okay, so that's nice. Um, I've got an equipping hat going on. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you is why we call it generic, um, because I don't have to equip the hat um, to the player. I can equip it to somebody else. So um, and this, this one I'm going to have, I have my trigger set up, left click, and I'm going to add an action. Okay, so um, there's my action. I'm going to rename this and say equip NPC generic. Okay, so that's my action, and I want to add the action. The action will be my Uma uh, add recipe generic. And this time I'm looking for our um, our merchant character, uh, which I have created a new dynamic character avatar here. So this actually just shows you why um, we always have to drag this uh, dynamic character avatar into the slot, which kind of gets to be annoying at some times, but um, it does add the flexibility that you can you can equip things to other characters, not just player characters. So we're going to add the cap. And uh, add component, I'm going to add action. I was in the wrong field. There we go, destroy. So, and we're going to destroy our second hat. Okay, so let's see what that does. Okay, fall to the floor. And we'll go over to the uh, merchant a little bit so you can see what happens when I add, add, click on this one, it disappears and it adds it to his hat. Uh, when I click on the second one, she gets a hat. So I get a hat, she gets a hat, everybody gets a hat. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, but what if you have the inventory module? So I'm going to go into preferences and take a look at inventory. And I've actually pre-prepared this um, just because I didn't want to go into too much detail about setting up an item. But I used the, the hat item that they already had. I've um, dragged in my um, my sprite for the cap, and I've dragged in my prefab um, into the prefab slot. So if I just if I um, drag it off of my inventory, it'll actually create that item again. Okay, so um, then I have under um, items actions. I have equip hat on invoker. Uh, this is just the default that comes with the, the hat item that you get in the um, in the inventory module. And it says character is the invoker. You can make that the player if you want. Item hat and type is general equipment helmets. So um, that's what you're going to be adding to. Okay, so. Um, but all that does is that that's just going to allow us to add it to the inventory. 
um, it's not actually going to add it to our character. So what we want to do here is say on equip. And um, on equip, I want to add an action. And in this case, it will be Uma. Um, add, uh, and I'm just going to just to show you the problem here. I'm going to add an Uma add recipe generic. And you'll see that it gives me the two slots, the character avatar and the Uma recipe. Now I can click on here and, and choose the cap, which is my recipe. Um, but when I click on my dynamic avatar, it gives me none. And if I take my player new character dynamic character avatar and drag it here, it does nothing. So that's the reason why there's actually two scripts. Um, so what we want to do under on equip is add action. Go under Uma, and this time we're going to use the action Uma add recipe, not the generic one. And I'll click on that, and you can see it only gives me the slot for uh, Uma wardrobe recipe. And if I click on that, um, now I can choose a cap. Okay, so there's one more step that we need to do, and um, that is we need to tell um, the uh, we need to t tell the script exactly where the ca character avatar is. So in order to do that, um, we're going to add a component, and this will be a hook. And I've created a hook Uma character. Um, it's a customized hook. So if you click on that, um, you'll see that it says hook Uma character. And so that now it knows exactly which where which character we're talking about. That it's a new dynamic character avatar under player. Technically, I could add a hook to the NPC and have it um, have it go there instead, um, but uh, that wouldn't make too much sense. Okay, so um, that should now be set up. So the other thing, though, that I've forgotten to do is under preferences, under hat, uh, we said what happens when we equip the item, but we didn't say what will happen when we unequip the item. So um, I'm going to add that on unequip. Um, we want to add the script, add action, Uma, and we want to clear the slot, Uma, action, Uma, clear slot. And here, unfortunately, you have to know what slot we're actually clearing, and in this case, it's the helmet slot, and it has to be typed in exactly that way with the capital H and spelled correctly. So that's going to clear our slot when we unequip. Right, so that should be set up. Okay, so what we need to do is set up the hat. Um, I have my on, on mouse left click. I'm going to add an action. And the action is going to be, and this one we'll call equip to inventory. So what I want to do here, I want to add a, um, to add an action, and this time because we're using Game Creator, um, I want to go to the um, Game Creator actions and look at um, inventory, and in this case we're looking at um, inventory an item. Okay. So we're going to, the operation is to add, an item is a hat from the list, the amount is one, and then after we add the item, we want to add another action, which is going to be just to destroy the item. Okay, destroy, and we're going to destroy our final hat cap here. Okay, so that all that's going to do is add it to the inventory and destroy the item. It doesn't do anything else. So now if I click on play, and 
Okay, so that's our third head that we're looking at now. If I click on it, it's gone. Okay, so where did it go? It went into my inventory. So if I click on inventory, now I see I have an inventory item called hat. If I double click on it, it adds it to my inventory space. And if I close my inventory, you can see I'm now wearing it. So if I go back into the inventory, I unequip, he's not wearing it. And finally, if I take my hat and I drag it into the scene, it drops it and I can pick it up again. Okay. So, um, that's about it. I said my game has a lot to do with equipping clothing, items that fit very closely um, to the character, and Uma does a really good job of that. Um, so that's, um, that's why I'm interested in using Uma for that particular use. Okay, so that's, um, that's equipping. All of these scripts are available on the Game Creator uh, um, Hub under the um, UMA int integration. And um, so I hope you've um, got some use out of it and um, happy creating.